Got a hay roll in my pickup truck, and I have to get it over there with no help. Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to another video here on the Omar Gosh Vlogs at the Safe Haven Ranch. I do got the animals distracted. They're back there eating some feed. Got the dogs in their enclosure eating too because they get a little food aggressive. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do here. Please don't come over here. Usually we have a two-man operation when we do this. Somebody stands back and even then the animals can still get away. Let's not waste any more time. Okay, the fun part though is gonna be trying to leave because I gotta make sure that the animals are distracted then too. All right, made it in, no animals in sight. Gotta hurry up and close this gate. Okay, oh no, they're coming. Just kidding, they're not coming. All right, we're good. Hi, Dak, hi, Gracie. They're ready, they just ate their food, they're done. Goes to other animals over there. This roll of hay on my way here did not mean to rhyme there, but it was saying hey to everybody. Why am I rhyming so much? Hey, chickens and ducks and goslings. I'm gonna bring you some hay too. Um, <laughs> uh, that's not gonna stop them. They'll be out in like two seconds. I worry the most about the dogs getting out you know, in the, the big area because they like to wander off. They love to explore. My, oh, there they go. There they go, see that? Caught them. They just jump right over the fence. <laughs> I don't want to run you guys over though. Look at these guys. Hi, Macy. How you doing, babe? What the freak? What is wrong with Macy? What is this? Gosh. Oh my God. Macy, come here, Macy. Are you okay, baby? Come here. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Macy's got... Okay, there's something wrong with Macy. What's wrong with you, baby? Oh, my God. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop recording here and call my vet. I have a vet that comes to the Safe Haven Ranch. I gotta let them know. Um, I'm gonna take some pictures of Macy. Last time I was here, it was just like a... I don't know, maybe a couple days ago, a couple, why didn't I notice that? That's, that's bad. All right, I'm gonna get this hay in there and then I'm gonna get on the phone with my vet. I'm gonna get you your hay, just chill out for a May. Look at them, they're excited. So what I did last time is I backed up really, really fast and then braked and then the hay roll rolled all by itself all the way to the end. All right, let's try this out. I'll go really fast and then break it. Oh, it didn't work. Didn't work. I need more momentum. All right. Move out of the way, guys. Out of the way. Try this again. Without hitting anybody. Woo! Oh, there it goes. Yes. It went sideways, though. Lily ain't wasting any time right now. She's like, I'm hungry, Dad. Feed me now. I have a lot of grass. I mean, from all the rain we've been getting here in Florida, it's not a problem feeding these guys because they always hungry and they're always eating. However, this last roll of hay that I had, they went through it so fast, maybe because it's so hot. That's the only thing I could think of because most of the time, I mean, it's, it's like a million degrees right now here in this part of Florida and we don't have a lot of, I mean, the one good tree that I have, the animals do use it, which is great. They cool off there, but there's not a whole lot of stuff to eat under that tree right now. So, I mean, this is another area they like to hang out when it's hot and when it's raining, of course. Oh, I just stepped in poop, eh? Ah. Okay. Made a little boo-boo mistake here. So, uh, I uh, took my nail clean off right now. Um, yeah, it's all right, just need a Band-Aid. Whatever netting is on this is uh, quite sharp, actually. Okay, so I just got off the phone with the vet and well, we were just kind of texting, if you will, and sent them some pictures of Macy. They said that that's definitely uh, an, an insect, some sort of mite that got to her. And it's pretty common amongst llamas. Sometimes they won't even act like there's anything wrong with them. I don't know how long, I mean, it's kind of like this happened overnight. So they did say that if you have ivermectin, it's pretty popular. And you know what, a good vet because they're expensive, they'll always tell you, especially farm vets, if they're really good, they're always gonna 
encourage you to take care of your animals because they love animals too. They're not always after this. So he did show me some ways and he said that if that doesn't get rid of what she has, that he will come here. And that means that it may be something a little bit more serious that requires more attention. So I'm gonna put some ivermectin on her, not a whole lot, she hasn't had. I mean, I've given her a safeguard in the past. She's still a baby, so we have to be very careful, but she might be okay for this. I mean, it's kind of, of important. Oh my God, what are you doing? All right, I guess it's staying there for now. <laughs> Woo! Toro, Toro! Mona is going crazy. I ain't never seen my cow do this before. What is she doing? She wants that hay to herself. Oh God. What is she doing? She's going crazy. Okay, that was weird. She just put a dent on the side of my garage here. Look at that. That was nice. You got ducks or chickens? They love these. It's called a flock block. All right. <laughs> Look at them. They're so happy to see me. Hi guys. All right guys. I'm gonna put this right over here for you. Okay, got it open. All right, you guys have fun. Oh yeah. Look at him go. Is that good? Okay, I wanna try it. I wanna try it. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. It's kind of like how I used to wear my hair, like just this like curly puff on top. Kind of looks like a mushroom. It's Tommy. They love this stuff. Now I try not to give them a lot of the like layer type stuff because there's some conspiracy theories as to that slowing down egg production. So, I mean, I got like a mixture here of natural corn and some seeds, nothing unnatural. This is also known as scratch grains, something you can get at your local tractor supply or whatnot. You guys want some too? You know, everybody can have this. Even Rena and the goats. Point in a doll. <laughs> okay, I'll put some for you. Hang on. That's for you guys. There you go. Ooh, they like this. There you go. Ooh, she likey, likey. All right, so only a couple of them stayed on the, the flock block. These guys prefer the, the corn feed. So if you want to encourage your chickens to start laying eggs, you kind of have to show them that it's a comfortable place for them to lay eggs where you want them to lay eggs. This is where I choose. And they have these fake like eggs that you can buy that they, you know, they look pretty real. I'm gonna have some chickens that lay eggs like this, by the way, like greenish type color. And you put it there. And what do you know? Look, already got some eggs. This is probably our, I don't know. I have one chicken laying these little eggs like this. If I had to take a guess who it is, it's probably that little bantam right there. The little, little brownish looking hen. Once they all start laying eggs, we're going to have a lot of eggs. I mean, we got what? 23 hens. That's almost two dozen eggs every day that we're going to be getting. So yeah, this is about the time I guesstimated we would start getting eggs in the first place. August. In case you're wondering if you got some chickens at home that you got as babies, it takes a good six to eight months, depending on the hen. When they start laying eggs, it's going to become annoying. So make sure you have a lot of cartons handy because you're not going to be able to keep up with all the eggs they're giving you. I mean, I don't care how much you like eggs. You're just not going to be able to eat all those eggs. 23 eggs. I don't eat 23 eggs in a day. I'm going to be giving these eggs away to neighbors. <laughs> I do have to cut that nasty knot off my dog too. That looked bad. I got some clippers nearby. It's probably the only way to get rid of that. It's gonna be way too painful to try to comb that out. Can I take your cord? Little hogs. Poor Peppy. It's like, let me in there. It's my food. Stop. Gonna need two hands for this. I'm gonna need some really good scissors. Maybe my hairdressing scissors. That's probably gonna be the only thing that's gonna get those knots. Did manage to get one of them, but that was it. How did that even happen? Like, what the heck, Gracie? Why do you have these crazy knots back here? This is ivermectin. And if you know anything about it, 
supposedly from what they say there's some conspiracies out there to this i mean i've never tried it but supposedly this has been linked to curing covid I'm not saying to use it but i know that i don't know i was reading somewhere on twitter aka x or whatever that the fda just cleared a human consumption version of this like in a pill form for covid and it's fda approved i don't know if that post was legit but this stuff works wonders on the farm i will say that so i have to put this on her once a week for the next three weeks all right so here's our house two years and three months later and it's still not completed i mean it looks beautiful get me wrong but i mean this is a simple home you know it's it's not a small home but it's not a very big home let me show you what's left okay it's locked like why are you locking my door so i did speak with the builders they said that we should be closing on this house meaning we're going to be completely completely done and be able to move in this month it doesn't look like that now the electric company just put electricity they had to bury it there's the pole over there i didn't want wires so that was like an extra charge that was the builder's excuse as to why i have not seen a worker here in i don't know two months there's the garage i mean you got the air conditioning unit in even though we have electricity hooked up we don't have a meter yet a little dark in here but yeah it's a little paint touch-ups they still gotta put carpet i mean there's still stuff to do in here when i called the electric company to give them a new belly button. They told me, that didn't sound right, but anyways, they told me that it was the builder's fault. So I mean, I don't know who's lying here. Could be, I, I trust the electric company because uh, even though the builder that built my home, they did a tremendous job, it's beautiful. I don't think I would recommend anybody to go through them unless they wanna wait several years for a house to be built. And I don't know, I've built homes in the past before and it's never taken me this long. And I mean, you can't use the excuse, oh, well, COVID this and COVID that. I started building this pretty much after COVID or in the middle of COVID in 2021. And I mean, they knew what was going on. We already had a lumber shortage. and We had several price increases through the building place or the builder because of that we went ahead and still built because it was still more affordable than buying a home with several acres and i had this land here if you're in the process of maybe thinking about buying a home or maybe building a home i'm gonna make a special video just for that just kind of explaining the pros and cons to both when i get back from my next filming trip because i am gonna i kind of want to take a break but still film and get away every time i go out of town it's always like a real quick trip and i just grind the whole time i mean it's just like and every time i go to these really cool places and of course i have friends in some of these places i'm always like man next time i'm gonna come back i'm gonna stay longer and i might do that i might go out west i'm going up north next week to like Rhode Island, Connecticut area. And I'm gonna spend some time up there, meet up with exploring with Josh, my boy James, Yasko, a couple others. Might even might even meet up with my boy Mo in Canada. I haven't really decided yet. Yeah, I think I'm gonna probably get away for like a good month. And then when I come back, the house should be completed or very close to being completed by then. And we could start moving stuff in. I'm gonna film a couple nights and then maybe just relax for like a night or two and then keep working and then of course i have to edit too but i just want to enjoy traveling i'm thinking about spending like a month on the west coast like california nevada i love it over there and every time i go i'm always in a rush and i don't ever get to meet up with any of my friends out there or if i do it's for a very short time so yeah this is going to be great and i am going to vlog so that's some good news too and it should be a lot of fun yeah that's the update on our house can't wait to actually be able to stay at the safe haven ranch all the time and not have to worry about anything i mean i just it broke my heart today seeing macy and by the way i did spray some of that like that ivermectin stuff i had to make sure i was putting just a little bit too i mixed the rest with water and it was just just enough for her weight 
I sprayed some on with gloves and I just kind of rubbed it in. Maybe tomorrow or the next day, I'm gonna put some like ointment on her because of her like cracked skin that's irritated and that should help her out a lot. So yeah, we'll keep an eye on it, give you an update. Let's get into the next day, what do you say? Check it out fam, we're at the clown cottage. It is a little messy here because we have been living here. One of the biggest reasons I've been doing that is because of the series. Still working on the series. I'm about halfway done. I have up to episode eight complete, which is nice because I have a couple of them already scheduled out. Every Thursday and Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and uh, I think it's 11 p.m. British Standard Time. If you've watched or have been able to watch the series, you might notice when I go back and forth from the creators, there's this really cool map with this Jeep. I wanted to show you behind the scenes as to how I created that because my first initial vision was to use maybe like Google Maps or something like that, or maybe a really cool plugin where I can visually show the viewer how far away each creator is. Because we went on an entire road trip for this series last year and we traveled a lot. I mean, it was, it was a lot, but it was fun. But I wanted to show you the map that's on that series. Thanks to Hobby Lobby, this is the map I used and there's the Jeep right there. So what I would do is I would have these really cool pans where it would go like this and it go, you know, to like California, of course, better lighting, of course. And uh, it was like in slow motion and just some really cool shots. And that was a lot of work because I had to change it up. If you notice, every creator is mixed with a completely different creator in different episodes. So I don't know how many transitions it was, but just for like one episode, it would take me maybe an hour or two to film just those parts because I had to go like, you know, from, I think it was like Indiana, you know, to like Los Angeles and then Kentucky to Iowa. And then I had to go from Kansas to, you know, it was just, it was really cool. It was a lot of work, but here's the map right here that I used. I got it from Hobby Lobby. And originally I was gonna do this stop motion thing, which I have a little video test of me doing it. And it looked cool. And how you do stop motion, if you're not familiar, a lot of people use it for like claymation type things, but you take a picture like every, you know, you just take one picture for every movement. And then when you put those pictures together, it creates, you know, an effect that looks like this. You can see kind of like the car marks right here. Uh, wait, are those car marks? Or maybe those are, maybe those are embedded into the map. I don't know what those are. Maybe those are flights. I could be wrong. Maybe it could be my, no, it's, I think it's this when I would do that. But yeah, a lot of you were thinking maybe that map was like a digital something and I wish it was, but this is what I made and it, it came out beautiful, it was cinematic. I ended up adding these really cool like clouds and it just, it looks, it looks amazing. And it was just an extra simple element that just painted a picture to the viewer and told the story a little bit better. I was supposed to meet the real Annabelle from the Conjuring movies. I Check it out. I mean, just to give you an idea how much of a fan I am, got one right here. Conjuring, Conjuring movie, Conjuring 1 and Conjuring 2. And there's Annabelle. Like, you know, that's the, the Hollywood version, not the real... Raggedy Ann. I've been uh, feeling a little strange about the whole situation and I kind of asked for a sign and I got my sign about 20 minutes ago and I have to share this sign with you. Very simple, nothing complicated. My flight got canceled. So, I mean, if that's not a sign in itself and I would have understood, I mean, it was already kind of looking weird, but then they gave me options like, hey, you can take this flight instead. And the flight happened to be right around the same time. I mean, like leaving here in Florida that I had to meet with Annabelle. So maybe it's not a good idea that I meet Annabelle because I'm scared. Like I'm really scared. And I was kind of already against the whole thing. I was gonna be very respectful. My friend James was there about a week ago. He did a live stream there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out his channel. I don't think he's released his actual video there yet, but he did do a live stream at the Warren Museum. I've been wanting to go there for years. I mean, ever since I got into like ghost hunting and documenting like paranormal, doing documentaries, 
I've always wanted to go there. So I had my chance to go there tomorrow. My flight got canceled. Maybe I shouldn't go. James threw up like six times while he was there. Supposedly you're not supposed to look into Annabelle's eyes. If you even watch her on TV, a documentary, a video, do not look into her eyes. It's bad juju. I was talking to Dan Rivera, one of the docents there at the Warren Museum. He told me he moved Annabelle. I mean, just something simple, very respectful. He just moved her to clean, you know, her little enclosure. And after doing so, he was at a stoplight at a four-way intersection. A car hit him from here, here, and here, like from all directions. And this was in the same day. I've heard of people dying after being there. I mean, this is some real stuff and this is why they don't just allow anybody there at the warren museum you're supposed to get blessed by a priest on your way in they drench you in holy water this has happened before with robert the doll like they cleanse you okay so i don't know if i'm gonna do this and uh i don't think i ever will maybe it's god trying to protect me and i'll be honest with you to me it's not worth making a video just to lose my life or have my life ruined in some capacity i mean it's just it's not worth it. Maybe Annabelle's trying to keep me away or maybe get me on another flight that can hurt me or worse. Um, I don't want to think negatively, but yeah. Little update on Macy. She's looking a little bit better, okay? Let me show you what's going on. Um, she, she still needs some work, but her skin isn't as bad. I mean, it's, you know, it's still rough, but it seems to be healing. I need to put some more ointment on it. How you doing, baby? eating some mineral. You can see some of those scales, like the dry skin is slowly coming off. But we have another problem. We don't have water. Our home that's being built, they just transferred our electric meter. And I don't know what the electricians did, but we have no power, no water. I spoke with the builder. They're trying to bring somebody out here. I was like, look, I have animals. I mean, luckily we kind of overly do it with the water. And we only do that because we have cows that are very thirsty. I mean, Mona comes over here, one giant slurp, and it's like half that bucket is gone. But, you know, that one is pretty filled. <laughs> Hi, Miss Piggy. You were a bad girl yesterday. Oh, here. Perfect example. Mona probably just took a sip. Hi, baby girl. And you can see half of it's gone. Hi, Pepper. Pepper's taking a little dirt bath. Just in case this happens sometimes, I do have a tote over there, like a storage tote. And I fill that up with water. So we've been kind of using that. I feel bad for the ducks though, because I usually fill up their pools twice a day and I haven't been able to do that for the last day. Okay, so if Mona ate gum, what gum flavor do you think she'd be really into? I'd say Big Red. Yeah, I feel bad for these guys because it's really hot out here and we have no water. But I mean, there is some water. So hopefully we get somebody out here today, an electrician to fix this. I think we're okay for a couple days. I just hate giving them warm water because this tote, I mean, I have about a hundred gallons of water in there, but it's like, it's hot water. And I hate giving them hot water. I usually have their waters in the shade and it's cool, nice cool water. Uh oh, what's going on over there? Oh, Pimp was just doing the dirty with one of the hens. All right, I guess we're gonna have some little chicks soon. I didn't know that they uh, do that so soon. They just started laying eggs. So yeah, this is halfway full. And yeah, we got some water. Oh, actually that is not bad. I'd say it's a like room temperature. Uh, let me fill this up a little bit. Uh, that's from there. It's actually not that bad. Thought it'd be a lot hotter. I mean, it's still morning time. Oh yeah. Yeah. What are you doing, Miss Piggy? Hi, Miss Piggy. You having a good day? Are you having a good day, Miss Piggy? Hey guys. How you doing? Really sorry about your dirty pools. Yeah, uh, we'll do something about it. I mean, I have those filled with water. Yeah. Oh, you tell him, Rodriguez. Pepper is not as friendly as Miss Piggy, but we're working on her. Hi, baby. Hi. Doing? Oh, wow, she let me pet her. She usually doesn't let me pet her. This is such a big thing right now. You don't even know. Oh, Macy. You could tell Macy's just not herself lately. Oh my God, look at these guys. They look dead. Llamas love rolling in dirt and that's probably what, prop, and that's probably what caused the mites that she has. When I had the vet over here, they said, well, she might be a little too young for ivermectin. And 
Of course, we had the other llamas treated. They don't have the same skin condition. Macy's older now. She is going on a year old. I want to say she'll be almost a year old. She's about 10 months or so. So, I mean, I, I think she's okay for uh, deworming and I don't know. I don't know what you call it. Dewormer? Pesticide? Anti-pesticide? What about you, Miss Piggy? What about you? Did you pee in the water? Did you pee in your pacuzzi? Look at Pepper wasting water. You knocked over the bin. But hey, you're you're a hot girl, so it's all good. I know, I'm so sorry. So sorry the dacuzzis need some work. Yeah, we need some water. We need to get you some new pools, too. Those pools have uh, seen a lot of wear and tear, I'd say. Why are you playing with that little puddle when I literally got two big things of water over there for you? Oh, wow. What do we have here? Oh my goodness. Any gators in there? Mira, primo, hay un cocodrilo. All right, so we're at one of my rental properties right now and we're gonna get this pool. We're gonna try to get it up and running. I have some experience with this, but I've never really worked with vinyl. So my dude was getting ready to actually get in the water. loco, chico. I told him that he's gonna get like a parasite or something. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much what we do. We just stick it in there like that. Es que me van a dar $2,000 por meterme en la piscina sin zapato. $2,000? Yeah. Okay, $2,000, he says, to get in the pool. Um, I don't know where that's coming from. Did we just get clickbaited? Ah, uh, no. All right, we're, uh, we're SOL here. That's a fire hazard right there. Oh, man. Emergency situation here. Vamos, look. We got this. My F-150 does have a built-in generator. I mean, look at that. I mean, look at this right here. This, I think it's a 7,500 watts total, which is amazing. So, I mean, if your house loses power, could technically run your entire house, depending on your setup. I know that I could run my fifth wheel off of this completely. Two air conditioners, microwave, refrigerator, all of that water heater this truck will power it up all right here we go oh, 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 oh. all being powered from our truck here good job primo all right let's see how long this takes to drain all right it's a very small pool yeah once we drain this we're probably going to need to vacuum it out that's one thing i did forget so i have to go back to my storage unit and get a dry vac because there's probably going to be a puddle of water and then we're gonna pressure wash. Which I think would be great. I don't think this vinyl really needs to be redone. I was gonna redo it, but most pools here in Florida use cement, not vinyl. And there's not very many people that do this kind of work. And I ain't gonna try to do it. This keeps like tickling my leg here. And I keep thinking there's like a bug crawling on me. So I'm gonna rip this out here. <sighs> of the pool pretty clean 
I mean, there's a little bit of algae down there still. There's a, the frog. AKA Rana. So we've been looking around for like little holes like this. And I bought this uh, special vinyl sticker, just especially for pools. Because here's the thing, I'm a big do-it-yourselfer. And I did ask somebody to come here, who's really the only person that does vinyl pools. And they kind of take advantage of that in the area. They want to charge me $4,000 to revinyl this pool. Mm -mm. Not happening. We'll just clean it up, make it look nice, and we'll have ourselves a pool again. I'll have to maybe deal with the upkeep. We have some holes that we have to take care of. We just have to look around and see if we see any more. I think that's the only one so far. Uh, I think this will probably go away once we put water in it. Hey, little froggy, do you see any other holes? Oh, chapapocho. Oh, chapapocho. Oh, chapapocho. What a cute little guy you are. Oh, my goodness. Where we're from here in the south, people will eat these guys. Well, mainly for their legs. Tastes like chicken, but I'm not going to eat them. I'm not into eating frogs. I'm going to put you right here. That's right. Oh, there you go. Have fun, little froggy. Well, okay. All right. There he goes. Got the little froggy. Kind of blends it. Oh, there he goes. Don't go back in my pool. All right, fam. Check it out. Pool is looking way better than before. Put some chlorine down there. We scrubbed it. I'm going to put a little bit more chlorine in a little bit. But we're going to fill it up with water. Shouldn't take, I don't know, maybe no longer than a day to completely fill up. Tomorrow I'm going out of town. So I'm going to leave my cousin to kind of look after it and he's going to make sure the pool gets filled and then we have some pinch of penny chlorine to put in there not much that it needs but yeah and plus this water is coming from the city which also has a little bit of chlorine it's not like well water in other words but hey way better i mean we cleaned everything scrubbed everything i fixed all the holes used the little you know vinyl stickers which you can also use if you didn't know this if you have a vinyl pool that has some holes that you know of you can put this like vinyl tape underwater and it dries underwater pretty awesome but i still you know i didn't want to take any chances i cleaned the surface with alcohol and then you know put it on there it's it says that it's usually completely done within an hour and uh, i don't think this water is going to fill up to those holes where they're at anytime soon so got plenty of dry time but yeah i'm pretty happy with the results we did you know pressure wash the deck as good as we could i think this needs like a good painting maybe later on but if you didn't know uh your boy omar i've always invested in real estate that's why i've uh done so well in life and it's a uh, you know it's one of my things that i do if you ever want me to make a video i mean i have made some videos about like my real estate investments been investing in real estate since i was 21 years old that's right didn't have any money, didn't borrow any money from my parents. I did it all on my own, just having great credit. So that's the first step. I'm not saying you have to have great credit, but it does help. It helped me. And that's your first step. If you wanna be a first time home buyer, work on your credit. Also, there's some great government plans that if you don't have the greatest credit, like FHA, you only have to put 3% down. That is a blessing. So, uh, yeah just some uh, real estate 101 i'll make a video later on if you know y'all want to see but anyways let's get into tomorrow because we have a long day of travel let's do this all right i want to give you a quick update before we get out on our uh, flight here macy is looking a little bit better her skin has improved um we still got some work to do but we're, uh, we're not as bad as it was. Like, her skin looked really bad a few days ago. So, just kind of wanted to show you that. I kind of feel bad for her. She doesn't quite look like her happy-go-lucky self. And I'm a little scared. Even though they gave us, like, instructions on what to do and we followed everything. And, I mean, she is looking better. I just want to, you know, I don't want to take any chances. I'll get some food for you, Mason. There you go, there you go baby. <laughs> Daddy spoils you, yes. I love you so much. Yeah, she's just not super happy, like, okay, I'll feed you too, chill out. Yeah, she's just not as happy, and I feel bad for her.
Got a phone call from Tiffany. And this seems to happen pretty much happened the last time I was traveling. End up losing somebody that I love. And this has happened three times in a row already. I've lost four people that I adore. And I say I say people because um, even my animals are people to me. They have personalities. They're full of life. They mean the world to me. Um, so my llama Macy ended up passing away yesterday while I was in Nevada. I automatically blame myself. I thought that maybe it be I thought maybe it was connected to the little skin condition that I found on her but when we explained what happened to Macy because she was found underneath a palm tree probably trying to get some shade the vet did tell us that in the last month here in Florida a lot of farmers have been losing cattle horses and camelids which are alpacas camels and llamas due to heat exhaustion um when i found this out it just completely ruined my trip i didn't want to be a burden to my friends and be just kind of mopey while i'm traveling and i just i had to get back to the safe haven ranch and make sure that you know, if it was something that was parasite related, I can make sure that the other animals are taken care of. One thing that we do here at the Safe Haven Ranch, I mean, we don't play around when it comes to taking care of our animals. We get regular vet visits. They do stool samples. I mean, we we check on them a lot. They all get their parasite medicine. Macy, on the other hand, the last time that the vet was here, they told us that she was too little and she couldn't get the parasite medicine that we gave the other animals. However, I was like treating her other ways. I was giving her these pellets like safeguard. And I also was giving her this uh, powder that's good for like getting rid of bugs. And I kind of bathe her in that. It's something that I give to my chickens. It's called um, Dama cautious earth or something like that um but uh i'm absolutely devastated and i've come to the realization that i possibly could be cursed and if you don't know what i'm talking about the very last time i was traveling i lost my mom and the time before that i lost someone who was like a sister to me she was a cousin first cousin of mine but she was like my sister i lost her she was only 33 years old and it just it's very weird that i lose people that i love when i'm traveling but anyways um i have not been back to the safe haven ranch i'm, I'm here on the property right now uh, it's it's dark i as soon as i found out that macy something happened to macy i was on the first flight to come back to florida and if you didn't know like we're far from nevada like it's it took me all day i got a flight at like three in the morning um i'm here now but it's dark but um i didn't want to waste any time i feel like the animals need me they've been acting i feel like they know that there's something wrong you said dak and gracie were like yeah they won't leave her they won't leave they, went, they wouldn't leave her side and now that she's buried they won't even leave the where she's where we, buried where we buried her. so when she passed away dak was protecting her he wouldn't let any animals like come near her. He would growl at them. And um, this is really sad because all of our animals, we got them pretty much all together at the same time. And they've grown together, especially the the puppies. You know, Dak and Gracie, they grew up with Macy and Piggy. Like, I think Piggy, Piggy was, was, first. was first. And then we got Macy. Macy and Piggy. And then we got Gracie right after. But they were... 
they were always together, those three, and then we got Dak just a couple weeks later. So, I mean, you know, these guys were, oh, my God. Like, I'm, it's going to be so weird going back there and, like, not, not seeing her, like, you know, come up and greet you. And, um, like, she was literally, like, one of a kind llama. We bottle fed her. Everybody loved her. Yeah. And she loved everybody. I mean, she just was the kindest llama. Like, I've, I mean, I've, this is my first time owning llamas. I did some research on them. Um, but, I mean, having anything as a baby and you raise it, like, you just, you kind of feel like they're, you know, it's, it's like when you guys have your your puppies and maybe maybe a kitty and um, maybe you lose them in a devastating way early, you know, and um, I keep blaming myself because, like, I sh should have been here, you know, maybe I, 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 I don't know, I, I don't, I don't think we could have avoided it either way, like, we have cold water out there f for her, we have plenty of shade, what did the vet say exactly, like, he said that he's noticed in the last month a lot of camelids, which is what Macy is, um, cows and horses have been passing away due to heat stroke, so, mainly young ones, because they don't know to, hydrate to hydrate and maybe she didn't drink enough water it's one thing about camels alpacas llamas they don't really require a whole lot of water they'll drink some water but not like cows and horses and dogs or pigs like they just they'll take a little sip here and there but it's especially important to hydrate when it's when it's hot and she was probably just out there grazing but i don't know i don't want to take any chances i want to make sure that the other animals because if she did get hit with like a parasite like a major parasite then there's a good chance that the other animals could as well i mean even though we treated them all like maybe there's just something that the medicine we gave them didn't because i treated i treated her like a week maybe yeah week but if half. we caught it too late then like who knows like what you know what i mean yeah I just, we, we don't know, and we're, we're already feeling, like, I'm feeling guilty just for not being in town and not being here on my farm, but, I mean, we're, we're always with our animals, we make sure our animals, we come twice a day to make sure they have water, food, I mean, we're always with our, and this is, we're not even, we're not even, like, moved into our house yet, it's still being built, so, I mean, we're always here tending to our animals, but, there was a day, actually, just to show how much we advocate for our animals. There was a day that the, the builders came and disconnected our well oh, by yeah. accident. We called that day and was like, no, we need somebody out here now. And they were like, oh, we can't get nobody out there until next week. And we're like, our animals need water. You need to come out here. And they already yeah. had water from that morning. We were just trying to refill their water for the afternoon just to give them fresh water. And we made sure that they had somebody out we there forced that them. day. We forced them. I'm going to go back there and check on them. This is my very first time. And it's going to be the first time that... I ever go back there and not see my baby out there, which is going to be... It's hard. Yeah. I, I've i cried, like, so much. Um, I just don't have anything else to, like, cry about. But I'm certain that, like, I'm just... I'm cursed You're every time cursed. I travel. But how come this is happening every time I travel? Like, I haven't traveled since June. I know. And when... It was June. I lost my mom. Of course, the like Before the that, day. Before that, you lost Melissa. But Where I mean, it was at? it was like the day, and it was because I'm filming. You know what I mean? Like so. We were out filming when you lost Melissa. We were actually walking into a location. A location. He broke down on a LA sidewalk. I literally had to like pick him off the ground, put him in the car to let him regroup himself. He bawled his eyes out for 15 minutes, got himself together, and then we went inside and filmed a video. And we were there all freaking night. And then he gets back in the car and just lets it out again. And then we go. And you know what? I wasn't going to film, but I didn't want to waste the people's time because they were waiting in the place for us. Mm -hmm. So um, that was... I haven't even released that video yet. I haven't released the video of the night that my cousin died or the night that my mom died. Those videos, I... And it's very strange because both of the, both of them had something in common that 
I found rather strange and then it kind of makes me wonder like you know is that the reason I like lost them you know no. I don't know I just my friend Susan says that things happen in threes it's been happening in like fives <laughs> well because you gotta think I lost you cookie. lost cookie then Melissa then your mom and then William remember the one you went yeah, and my visited friend. yeah and by the way I I shared that so while I was on my trip Right before my mom passed away, we went and visited some fams, Joy and William, and he was really sick. He was on hospice with cancer, and I just went over there to to meet him, and it made him so happy. He was I made him a grilled cheese sandwich, and he ate. It was his first time eating in a while, and the last time that he ate, it was because I FaceTimed with him. So it was it felt really good making his day. And then that same day, they ordered a well they ordered a gimme kiss like oh when shirt. it got there when you it got there while we were there i got this all on video it was it was beautiful but i know I, i've had some people asking about william and sadly he he did um end up losing his battle with cancer and i mean i i hate to say it like that because when we lose loved ones it's not it's not that we cry because we cry because we're the ones that are hurt like they're not hurt you know, William, my mom, Melissa, even my Macy and Cookie, they all went on to beautiful places and we're just kind of left behind hurting, you know. But I mean, Macy, that's that was uh, that was the face of the Safe Haven Ranch. And like she's still the face. Like she's she's not going to come in your like face not gonna come up to your face and like make those cute little noises she made like she was literally like a dog and i mean i can't really describe how she was she was just she was like a person you know but uh i didn't uh i didn't expect to lose her she looked like she was getting better i mean that's why i don't think that this was related to her skin but maybe it was like, like this is a cute picture of her where she just comes up to your she tries to get so close to you She's literally the best little mama ever. Oh. Hi, my baby. Hi, guys. You guys are so cute. Hi, my loves. Why are your paws dirty? Hi, daddy boy. Hi, Gracie girl. You guys doing? Hi, Thelma. We need to check Thelma out. Oh wow. Oh, 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 this God. flashlight just started getting dim. Oh. Okay. Ow. Okay, chill. So this is where Macy was found. She was right underneath this area right here, just getting shade, and the dogs were laying right next to her. And actually the dogs have been hanging out here a lot. We put this down just to, you know, make sure. Oh, somebody was digging right here. Or maybe not much. This is where Macy's at, right? Yeah, under that. Alright, big shout out to my neighbor, Phil, that came out here and helped. Because, I mean, I was in Nevada. I couldn't really help with burying her. And she was pretty heavy. She was like... She was really heavy. Yeah. So she was laying under there, like right there. I knew something was wrong. Tiffany called me and she was like bawling. And I knew that we lost somebody. Oh. Hi, Tommy. Yeah, we gotta check these guys' eyelids. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna catch them over here in the little corral. So the goats are usually the most sensitive when it comes to parasites. That's why I don't feel like it was parasites. Uh, all right. My goats only let me get near them when I have food. So, see if you can bring them in here. Okay, um, well, come here. Come on, Thelma. Gotta get the dogs out of the way. Hey, Lily. Hi, come Mona. Come on. Hey, Lamar. Dak. Come here, Dakie boy. Dixie, I come love here, baby. Dixie. Come on. We need to check Dixie too. I know. All right, this is this is Thelma. She's my favorite goat. Hi, baby girl. So, when you want to check for parasites, there's a little trick 
where you check underneath their eyelids here. You want to make sure they have some really good pink. Um, she's kind of, that could be a little pinker. Yeah, so let's give her some of this. So if that's like almost white, that means that you're about to lose an animal. So they say if it's white, say goodnight. Is that what it is? Let me check the other side. You're probably wondering, so what's the deal with the eyelids? Well, if there's parasites, parasites suck blood out of you and there's that's connected to like your nerves and stuff. Hi, Dixie girl. So let's give her some this. This is a like a pellet form of dewormer. Come here. It's okay. Hey. You're gonna get a snack. Here you go, baby. There you go. See, they just eat it right out of your hand. Yeah, see, she's she's got some pink. She's no, good. Go away. Oh, yeah, he's good. He's got some pink. Oh, he's actually better. Yeah, from... he's, he's really good. So, Thelma, see, that's what you really want. Yeah. Like, that's a perfect pink. Yeah, that's really good. Thelma probably has some parasites, okay, but, but not bad. I mean, they're all going to get it summertime. Hi, baby. Let me check the cows. Oh, my gosh. Look at her. She's, like, right in my face. <laughs> and I got my hands all full. <laughs> nice sweet girl. Dixie's so cute. Oh, look, there's Lamar. Hey, Lamar. Don't oh. you spit. So I can hear it. I can see Lamar's. He just turned his eyes, and I could see he's got pink, too. So. He's got, he's got yeah. a good shade of pink. Yeah, and I'm looking at Dixie. She's, I can, you know how, like, their eyes are so big that when they roll. I need to grab Dixie. Like, that's a little light. Yeah, I mean, but she, no, she's got some pink. Good. She's got some good pink. That's pretty good. Dude, these bugs. Hi, Mona. Look at him. They kissing. They kissing. There you go. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh. You can give some of this to the dogs, too. You can give Safeguard to the dogs. We give them dewormer. Oh, there's Louise. You gotta, okay. you gotta check her out. Here, Louise. Here, let me hold it. Yeah, here, hold this. Okay. She's a lot like Thoma. Like, she's got a good pink, but yeah. it, it could be it a could little be pinker. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she's good, though. Like, if she has some parasites, it's very minimal. But it's good to be on top of it, giving them be warmer. Here, baby. Get out of that. No, no. Come on. Don't be scared. Come here. Oh, let me let. <laughs> look, look. Come here, Thelma. You wait a little bit more. Come here, baby. There you go. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. Hi, baby. Come on, Thelma. You can come out. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Come on. <laughs> come out the gate. Come on, Thelma. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. Come on, sweet girl. So here's the thing, I treated Macy with a dewormer, anti-parasitic medicine that we actually use for the cows. It's vet recommended, it's what the vet gives us. And I did it twice. So this is why the vet doesn't believe that what she had was parasites. But I mean, we just, we just don't know. Could have been heat exhaustion. It's popular, it's common this time of year especially with younger animals. They don't know how to stay hydrated. Yummy, yummy. Let me see her eyes. Her pink is good. Yeah. She's really good. All right, so, let's but go I mean, we treated her with ivermectin too. Come here, Lily. I know you're probably gonna run, but that's okay. Let's hold some food out for you. She might be out of your hands. She likes you better than me. Let Rena have some. Zach, get out of here. Go ahead, Rena. She's a little shy. She used to let me pet her when she was younger. I mean, she'll still let me pet her, but not like. Where you going, baby? Uh, here. She's a little better with you. Do you think Pepper like came here with some parasites? Cause I don't I know. I mean, maybe Pepper, it wasn't parasites. Pepper is the only one that we didn't treat the way that we treat our other animals. But the thing is, is Pepper came from another farm and with goats, and it's right across the street. Mm -hmm. And their goats are fine. Oh, uh, Louise didn't get much. Actually, I don't think she got any. Come in. Come in. Let me let you feed you. I want to feed you. I want to feed you. Lamar, come here. Aw. 
So Tiffany feels kind of bad. Yesterday when she found Macy dead, she kind of looked at Lamar. She was like, why couldn't it have been you? I was really, <laughs> I was really emotional. <laughs> And, and she felt really bad. I felt horrible. It's because <laughs> Lamar is not as loving as Dixie and Macy, and he's just like mean, and he'd be spitting on everybody yeah, all the time. Yeah, he spits on, on the cows, and so, he spits on Dixie. In my moment, while I was being grilled by Lamar, while I was dealing with my Macy girl, he was just like, and I was like, why couldn't it be you? And now I feel horrible. It's all I thought about last night while I was sleeping. I was like, <laughs> I gotta go apologize. <laughs> so you just apologized? Yes. Did you speak llama to him? I just... My yeah, I know you didn't mean that. L Lamar's, I mean, even though he's not as friendly, like, he's still our baby. Yeah, he's and a we giant love him. Macy. Oh, my God. Yeah, because Macy had very similar colors. Everybody what are you doing? <laughs> everybody thought Macy was, was his. Hi, Dixie. Hi, sweetheart. Dixie's come such a long way. Like, yeah. she was ne never this friendly. You're such a good girl. Why, like, she wouldn't let you pet her. What the heck was that? I think she wants some more of this. Hi, baby girl. I want a harness trainer. Or like halter trainer. There you go, sweet girl. What's on her face? I think she got like a cut from like the fence or something. Oh no. I don't she know. Okay? Yeah. Oh, she's got something behind her ear too. Let me see. I don't know. Looks like she got like a she got like cut by something. Alright, she definitely doesn't have what Macy yeah, had. none of them have what Macy had. But Macy's legs were getting better. Like, all of it was... All of the skin was healing. It was, like, falling off and new skin was coming back. And Like, she had it, like, really bad down here. Ooh, I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, hi, Hamlet. Hamlet. I hear him back there. Oh, he's seeing behind the tree. I see his eyes. You're such a good boy. It's our unofficial horse. Lost to my neighbor. All right. Here. Well, I'm like just ready for Macy to come and greet me right now. And she's not here. Oh. What was that? A cow from back in the, the pasture behind us. Okay. So I, I want to like decorate Macy's area. Even maybe put some like rocks and stones around it. and. We should get a little plaque. Yeah, make it look really... For that area. And oh. Macy will forever be the face. She'll always be the face. I'm going to actually get... I'm going to get Macy, like, tattooed on me. So. I'm sorry, babe. These bugs are really on, like, another level tonight. I'm going to spread a lot of that earth stuff, like, all over the barn. They got water and stuff, right? Yeah. So you can everything. see, like, we have fresh water lines for them. Like, all this water is, like, fresh. See, there's water there. We have one in here. You know what I want to do, though? Water um, there. I want to bring that tote. And bring it in here? Bring it in here. Ew. All these frogs. Hey, you go, Mona. She's like, speaking of water. <laughs> it literally sounds like a fountain. Sounds like a... I thought, I thought you turned on one of those no. water <laughs> spigots. But, look... In this same video, I put a whole roll of hay there and it's like half gone already. A couple cow turds. I've been putting their uh, manure in a corner that way we can, I usually give it to my dad because he's really big into plants and stuff and he uses it for fertilizer. But we should bring in that, that tote, the water. Put it in here in the corner. Put it in here, fill it up with water because we have water right there. And that way it stays shaded and it's not stays cool mm -hmm. that way if we do run out of water we get like a power outage we got some fresh cold water that's not being affected by the sun so oh. all right fam signing out from the safe haven ranch um please say a prayer for uh me and my family i just feel like this year has been really rough and for anybody that's going through the same thing right now like just losing somebody one after another in the same year i mean i'm sure a lot of you have experienced that i know i have a friend dennis that uh, he lost his wife in 2021 he just was it 21 i don't know he just just sucks like losing people that you love um, all right fam before you leave give me a kiss peace